What do you guys do for a fun romantic evening? We get Chick-fil-A and sit in the car wash. While we eat it. While we eat it, yep. Actually, this is a first for us. I like it. Quite relaxing. And you get a clean car. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning, and we are right now on our way to um, a wedding. Lauren has, is it hair and makeup for a wedding, or is it, what is, what I'm are you doing? I'm doing hair, but there is makeup as well. I'm just doing hair today. So we figured we would bring you along for the drive. We're up in <coughs> the um, Carroll County area, um, Westminster, Eldersburg, we're headed to Mount Airy right now. Um, last night we stayed at her parents' house so that we'd just be close here. And um, now we're on our way to the wedding in Mount Airy. So. Typical Saturday for me. September is Sickle Cell Awareness Month, uh, so we thought we would do something special to honor that. Um, something that's been going around is doing a bright lip color, um, just to show, I guess, awareness of the disease, because uh, I think it's not very common um, to know what it is. Uh, so I wanted to share a little bit about my friend Jasmine. Um, her son is four years old now, but he got diagnosed with sickle cell disease when he was born. Um, and then back in May, he actually had to have three blood transfusions um, because of the disease, and he is often in a lot of pain. Um, and I know it's really tough for him and for his mom, Jasmine, who um, I work with, and she's a makeup artist. So we thought we would do something to honor her and him. Um, so I have set up all of my makeup. So Joel is actually going to put makeup on me, and we're going to end with a bold lip in honor of Jasmine's son. And his name is Isaiah, by the way. And for those of you who don't know what sickle cell disease is, or sickle cell uh, anemia, is, it's, um, I think, more commonly known by. Um, it's a hereditary disease that is, um, affects the, the blood cells. And basically what can happen is, instead of the blood cell fully forming, it um, takes on like a crescent shape and it makes it harder for the blood cell to go through um, the blood vessel, small blood vessels. And when that happens, it can actually block up the, the blood vessel and then blood doesn't get to um, parts of the body that it needs to. And then because there's not enough blood getting to these parts of the body, um, a lot of the times uh, these extremities can uh, become damaged or, um, or you know, like Lauren said, there's a lot of severe pain involved. Um, some of the other symptoms can be um, 
permanent damage to the brain, heart, lungs, or other vital organs. So it's, it is a, a pretty serious disease and um, everything that I've read on it so far says there isn't a, um, a known uh, cure for it. Uh, I think there's treatments to help kind of, well there are treatments to help kind of ease it and, and make it a little bit better. Um, and like Lauren was saying, her friend, um, her friend's son had, has had three blood transfusions. Just in May. Just in May. So it's kind of a big deal, especially for a, a little kid. Mm -hmm. So I gave Joel no direction whatsoever as to what makeup goes in what places. Um, <laughs> so this should be fun. And the only thing that I told him was we have to end with a bright lip. So. I'm basically just going off <laughs> of what I've seen her do. <laughs> Hopefully you've been to enough trials with me. Yeah. <laughs> or not trials, but... This is actually kind of intimidating. <laughs> um... <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I have no idea what any of this is. You see me so, do my makeup I every know. day. I know. I know this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not telling you anything. <laughs> Just tell me if you need me to move my bangs out of the way. Okay. <laughs> Do you stop me? No, I'm not telling you anything. <laughs>
Okay. Are you done? Yeah. Sure. Can you get me a mirror so I can see? Yeah. Okay. So Joel just finished my makeup look. And I'm about to see it for the first time. <laughs> You know, that's not too bad. Don't hire me for your wedding, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, the lips are certainly bright. Yep. And... <laughs> <laughs> you can't clean it, you know. Yeah, I know. Here. So, yeah, that was interesting. So hopefully you learned a little bit more about sickle cell and um, and you'll show off your bright lip if you want to post a picture feel free um, and I guess we'll see you next week. And I or her for your makeup, <laughs> not me. <laughs> so. Now you get a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Now we both have a bright lip. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, like and, sub and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Um, and then comment below um, if you guys have any challenges you want us to do or if you have any other um, suggestions, some things that you want us to do, some crazy I don't know, challenges or whatever, day trips. Let us know what you guys want to see in the comments below. Um, and we will see you guys next week. Bye. What is your most crazy moment? Um, I'm sorry. <laughs>